The Bobby Goldsmith Foundation was established in 1984 by the friends of Bobby Goldsmith after the champion swimmer died of AIDS at the age of 38. The legacy of those first friends endures today, with the Bobby Goldsmith Foundation celebrating 30 years of helping people living with HIV. The foundation is now under more pressure than ever, as rates of HIV infection have been steadily increasing, and so the BGF has had more people accessing the services they provide than ever before. This is the Oxford Hotel, where friends of Bobby Goldsmith gathered 30 years ago to establish an organisation to financially help those in our community living with HIV. We are conferring honorary life membership upon Ida Buttrose, Australian media legend, national treasure and still to, uh, 2013 Australia of the Year. We're very excited. Tonight Ida Buttrose is welcomed as an honorary life member here at the Oxford Hotel in Darlinghurst where the Bobby Goldsmith Foundation was first chartered in 1984. Bobby Goldsmith's sister, Wendy White, and Bobby's final partner, Ken Bryan, presented the Honorary Life Membership Citation to Ms Buttrose. I'm really quite knocked out by all the praise that's been heaped on me this evening. It'll be a very memorable evening. I actually consider the work I've done with HIV AIDS perhaps the most worthwhile work I've done. Ida Buttrose is well known in Australia as an Australian of the Year and a tireless worker for charity. She says that when the HIV virus first hit Australia, it was obvious to her that people living with AIDS needed support and care. My association with Bobby Goldsmith probably goes right back to the very beginning. Uh, the foundation began in the same year that I became the National Advisory, uh, I became President of the National Advisory Committee on AIDS and really our lives have been interlinked ever since because it was obvious very early in the piece that people living with AIDS needed to have support and care. HIV has been in Australia for three decades now, since the epidemic began in the 1980s. The Bobby Goldsmith Foundation has launched a new fundraising and HIV awareness campaign called Where Am I With HIV? which shows some real faces of people living with HIV and you may be surprised at the diversity of those faces. The campaigns of the past have told us that HIV can happen to anyone and the brave people who have fronted this latest campaign for the BGF show this to be true and they are to be congratulated. The evening was amazing for me because I'm still really new to this whole experience of living with HIV and um, hearing people's stories who have experienced it from the very beginning is it's very humbling and I can't help but feel flawed and in such a position of privilege to be benefiting from from the movement that these people have been involved in since the very beginning. I'm really pleased to have been invited a to uh, have been part of the original group who founded the organization was very impressed with presentation, meeting Ida Butros. She is a national treasure. I mean, it's a cliche, but it's true. And I've run into so many friends I haven't seen for a long time. This new campaign hopes to raise money for the very important and worthwhile work that the BGF does. We need to remind people that we're still here, still helping people. HIV is still here destroying lives and, and, and really causing, causing some problems for the most vulnerable people in our community. BGF is still here restoring lives, helping people to live. While there are many HIV health and advisory groups chartered to reduce the rise in HIV, which as we said is still rising, the BGF provides direct financial and practical assistance, financial counselling, housing and employment support to the most vulnerable people. It is Australia's oldest HIV charity. We last year experienced a 15% jump over and above what we'd normally expect as an increase. Uh, and of those people who are coming for service, there's an increasing range of complexity in the, in the health issues. So multiple health issues uh, and, and multiple serious health issues. And we have an ageing population as well. Plus, you know, a great number of our clients come from migrant and refugee communities and they often ask for help quite late in the journey so we're getting this level of complexity and seriousness which needs even more robust support so we're, we're set up for that and we're ready for it. Thank you Bobby Goldsmith Foundation for your tireless work over the past 30 years. As an AIDS charity you are without equal. I'm Kyle Olson for Inside Out.